League play got started early in week eight. Sean Jesuit tangling at Tad Gormley this afternoon. Blue Jays on the board first. Brayton Winnington with the short touchdown run of two yards. Jesuit up seven zip. Later in the first, Robert McMahon, he'll roll out and have pretty much all day to throw, just making his reads, making his progressions, and finds Noah Varnado for the 10 yard score. 14 0 Blue Jays. Varnado, five catches, 70 yards, and two scores. Jesuit shuts out Shaw, 28 0. District 10 3A will sort itself out in the next few weeks. Three unbeaten teams in district play atop the standings entering tonight St. James, De La Salle, St. Charles Catholic. Two of those teams meeting tonight in Bashery in the Cavaliers and Wildcats. And both have won their first four district games by a combined score of 161 to 21. Domination. A 10 play 80 yard opening drive for the Cavs. Kendall Collins keeps it on the option down the sideline. 16 yard touchdown. Dulles out with an early 7 0 lead. Still in the first, a fourth and three for the Wildcats. Shamar Smith under pressure. Dulles Al's defense getting right in his grill. The incomplete pass, they force a turnover on down. So the second we head, Smith gets the upper hand this time. Throws one, throws one up to a wide open Logan Gravos. Balls it in, 60 yards later, it's a touchdown. St. James misses the point after, so De La Salle still leads 7-6. Later in the first half, Smith taking off, gets hit, ends up coughing it up. And the big old boy, Nathan Penn, recovers, rumbles his way to the St. James 35. Cavs will take advantage. Two plays later, Kendall Collins keeps it on the read option. The juke right there, 22-yard touchdown run. De La Salle builds on the lead, 14-6. The Cavaliers hold on to win late, 21-19, your final. All right, as we promised you at the beginning of the show, we essentially have the District 6 5A title on the line tonight in Slidell. And Larry Favre's Tigers seek their first win over St. Paul's in 14 years. Both the Tigers and Wolves come into the contest unbeaten in district play. LV McGinney, the site for tonight's game of the week. And that's where you find Andrew Doak with more. Hey, Andrew. Hey, Ricardo. Yeah, we knew coming into this matchup, it was going to be an offensive showdown. St. Paul's coming in averaging 35 points per game. They hung 72 against Ponchatoula last week. Meanwhile, Slidell scoring 36 points a game, but a lot of people picking the Wolves in this matchup because the Tigers hadn't upset Slidell in, in, since 2004. Big matchup tonight in District 6-5A. Slidell was picked off on their first offensive drive. Two plays later, St. Paul's quarterback, Jack Mashburn, steamrolls through the Slidell defense to pay dirt. It's 7-0 St. Paul's. Ensuing drive, Slidell quarterback Jacob Guidry makes up for it. Dixon slips behind the defense, and he's down the sideline to the house. It's 7-up. Next drive for the Wolves, running back Carter Ely punches it in from four away. It's 14-7 Wolves. Following drive, watch Gidry checks to a hot route up the seam. Brandon Spann, the beneficiary, great check, and it's 14 all. After a great fourth down stop deep in their own territory, Tigers dial up a nice mixed direction with a delayed shovel to Dixon, and he's gone in a flash 70 yards. Tigers take the lead 21 14. Good call, coach. Next, St. Paul's drive, 39 from the Wolves' own 31, and Mashburn picked off Markeegan Gray with the turnover to even the turnover battle. And with under a minute, fourth and seven at the 31. Look at this, another check by Guidry. The fade route, Jordan Smith hauls it in. You make the call, but they call him in, and it's 28-14 Slidell at the half. St. Paul starts the second half with a defensive three and out, a block punt that leads to a touchdown. They get back within one score, but two drives later, maybe the biggest drive of the game for the Tigers, they go 89 yards down the field, and Guidry links up with Tito Simmons to make it a 35 to 21 lead. A big drive for the Tigers while they were on the ropes. Following drive, Wolves knocking on the door, trailing by 14. First and goal from the seven yard line. Mitchell Smith makes it a one score game. Then just over two minutes to play. St. Paul's with the drive to tie. They need a first on fourth and five, but Mashburn is incomplete. And the Tigers go on to win 35-28. Well, it means so much because it means Slidell football is back. And uh, just a great win. You know, I told the kids, leave it on the field. It meant a lot to us, man. We prepared all, all summer, all from last year, because we, we was up last year by, like, I think two touchdowns, and then it came back on us, so we was already ready for it. Dixon finished with 214 rushing yards and two touchdowns. Just a little perspective for you. 
Matt Forte, who played at Slidell the last time that the Tigers upset St. Paul's. He was one year removed from the Slidell football program and a freshman at Tulane. Here live in Slidell, Andrew Doak for 4th Down Friday.